Hi guys, good to have you all back. If by chance you're new to my channel, let me introduce myself. My name is Margaret. I am from the Netherlands, that's why I have a lovely accent. I do paper crafting, junk journaling, sometimes vintage treasure hunting. I have a small box on my desk today. It came in mail yesterday. I did open it up to check who it was from. It is actually uh, an Instagram order and some lovely goodies she put in here. So I want to do a small unboxing and then do a little project uh, with the stuff that's inside of here. So let me show you what's inside the box the order came from pink paper daisy on instagram her name is laura she's a lovely person uh and yes pink is her favorite color she loves pink even more than i do i did open it up it says thank you she always packages stuff so nicely do you recognize the card i do <laughs> i think i inspired her a little bit there's a card with a lovely sort of uh message in here thank you so much laura i love it i just i love it i love the yarn too that she used yes uh, love it love it then i i know i ordered index cards from her but uh i also noticed there are lots of other things in here besides index cards so let me show you the index cards first uh, i especially like the, uh, these now let me tell you in the netherlands index cards not a thing so you hardly ever see them and these are lovely look at this color it's like greenish grayish sort of vintagey vibe love them love them look at the back i am so gonna reuse this yes absolutely uh this is like embossing no uh, structure paste and then with ink love it and these are yellow really are they yellow yellow we haven't noticed yes the yellow really nice uh size as well most of my index cards are like half of these and these are eight by eight by fives yeah uh I ordered uh, two of these because I love this color. I love it so much. And then she had orange, also so unusual. Look at the pretty bags, love those. Yeah, so um, lots of index cards. This is what I ordered. Um, I had to control myself because she has so much lovely stuff. I will link her Instagram shop below. Uh, and then, oh, let's do these ones first. I don't know. <laughs> These are like sort of medallions. I've seen these before. These are very heavy, like metal ones. And I think you can do some wax um, wax seal in here. Or you could just put a lovely picture in or, or what have you. Love them. I already have a couple of them, but not in this shape. I have ovals. And then these are like smaller ones. Smaller ones. I've never made a project with this. Look at the li lovely little bag. Um, detail people detail i have no clue what's in here if I, it almost looks like uh earrings but it's not <laughs> trying to open it up very carefully now what are these and did i order them i did i did did i order them oh yes these are, they look like earrings they probably are see this and they're sort of gold leaves did i order these or did you give me these i can't remember well anyway thanks laura i love them i absolutely love them i have no clue what i'm going to use them for well i'm going to use them on projects yeah i'm not going to use them for my ears because my ears cannot stand earrings i love them i'm going to put them in a nice little box and then i'm going to close this up guys let me look at this uh because i already see something that i probably really really love Oh, probably really, really love everything. Look at those. These are cabinet cards, right? Look at the bags. I love the bags even more. I can tell you this. I need to open them up. I already have sort of a small collection of these uh, cards. You hardly ever find these. So, oh, to part with these treasures. Oh, yes. Typically Dutch. Typical Dutch lady with the traditional headdress on. Yes, so, so sexy. <laughs> and this is probably your husband. Does it say anything on the back? No, they're both from the, from um, absolutely the, the same photographer in Amsterdam. How they, these are really, really nicely preserved. They're absolutely fantastic. Love them, love them. Uh, yes, I am going to scan them for sure. What a lovely couple. Well, you know. <laughs> And then another sort of pocket she made. She also sews in pink, of course. Now, this is actually 
the idea I have for the index cards. That's a coincidence. And these lovely tickets. Oh, I don't have these yet. I think I have these with another number. Yes, tickets, tickets. We love tickets. Lovely pocket that she made with vellum. Yeah. And then uh, cards from, again, the Netherlands. Oh, they're the same. Oh, that's cool. I can use one. I can scan one. Yes, this is sort of traditional uh, Dutch clothing. <laughs> we don't look like this. They should be wearing uh, wooden clocks, right? Yeah, well, that lady in the back is. Yeah, the, I think I think this is 50s. Um, looking at the shoes and the socks, I think this is 50s. What is this? It's not even Dutch. Where'd you get this? Liberty Bank of Buffalo. Yeah. It's sort of a bank statement from 1954. It's in yellow. I have two. I have two. Fantastic. Love them. Absolutely love them. So thank you very much, Laura. I, I love all the vintage goodies, you know. Um, and the card, it is beautiful. Thanks, sweetheart. Now, let's go make something with the index cards. There's no prototype. There's an idea. Um, uh, and I need to tell you something else about these. Uh, these are actually a married couple. It says so on the back. His name is P of Peter or whatever. The rose is like the rose. P the rose. And this says, uh, wife of P the rose. Her name is Romkje. Romkje. It's like... Frisian name or <laughs> so yes his um uh, it, it, it was probably someone of stature i think because you know lovely uh yes i'm gonna build a whole story around these two and then i found the box this one you've seen this in my whole video uh yeah perfect size for all the lovely clips now for the project uh i'm gonna use these because i have two uh, packs of these i want to use two index cards the other ones are gonna go somewhere close by because i want to use them in the future there we go what i want to do the idea is i want to make sort of a small booklet with a pocket on the front with the window um something like this but probably not oval something like this with a window on it so it's gonna have a pocket it's gonna have like a page and that, that is going to have some pockets on there as well. So a little booklet, little booklet. Because I really don't know how this is going to turn out. I cannot tell you the supplies that I'm using. I'm using the supplies as we go. Um, I want this to be a sort of a vintage 50s theme, I guess. Don't know for sure. Could be even older, but I think so. So what I want to do is I want to fold these in. Yeah, so that you can open it up. Uh, but I want to have the window here on the bottom. Yeah, so I'm just going to put this here and I run it through my die cut machine. Now, guys, don't judge <laughs> because um, I have a cheap one from Action. And the plates are horrible. It looks disgusting, <laughs> but that's okay. It works. It works. It's like this win the thing from Love to Craft. Um, it's like sort of a very cheap Dutch brand, I guess. Okay, there you go. Bum, bum. So I just wanted to show you my die cut machine. It is horrible, and uh, the plates are cracking. That's okay. You know. I have been looking uh, at these Sizzix, Big Shots, whatever thingies. I um, I think they're too expensive. It's just, you know, my opinion. Let's see. Carefully remove these. Yes. See. And it makes for a lovely sort of image uh, impression. And I can use this for sure. I think I'm going to cut it in half or make tabs on this. Don't know. So, that is one. I need to fold them in half. They are not eight. They're actually a little bit shy of eight. So what I could do is take out my scoreboard. That, but that will be, you know, a hassle. 
um, so I'm just gonna line them up and then fold them so I don't need a scoreboard for this see now they're straight uh, yep on this one as well oh I love the color on these match my nails you like my nails I don't <laughs> I just wanted to try something. Let's be festive. Yes. Um, I prefer like more natural colors. Yeah. So this is going to go in here. Yeah. This is going to be a pocket. A top loading pocket. Um, and then this is going to be a page. And another page with pockets on them. So I need to attach them here. Now if I had a fantastic sewing machine. I would sew them. That would be fantastic. But my sewing machine is rubbish. Absolutely is. Uh, or I am rubbish at sewing. So um, this pocket is going to be. Uh, it's going to have a window. So I want to have something underneath. And I was thinking. Where are they? Yes. Um, let's have one of those. Underneath. Right? I think so. I think that's sort of the perfect uh, size. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Thank you. Yes, thank you. It will stick out a little bit. So I'm going to lose this piece of a number. Um, which line do we want it? Um, this line. So below this one. I'm just going to use glue stick, right? Because um, if it's not st on straight, you can maneuver it about a little bit. lost the line again you should have marked it let's see i'm gonna put it on line these up does it work it looks a little bit crooked i'm gonna scooch it in a tiny bit yes oh it looks fantastic it already looks vintagey because of the color, right? Yeah. Great. Now, what I want to do is um, some collaging on here before we make the pocket. No, I think we're going to do that after we make the pocket. So I'm going to glue it. For this, I am using art. So I'm going to put glue here, here and here. To have the top loading pocket. Are we going to make a notch in it? No. I want to have something with a tab on, on the top. I've never made this before guys. I just you know sort of made it up. Oh look at my straight hand. Mama. There you go. This is art love, so do it right in one go. That is not right in one go. Oh, it will move for a second. Are we going to ink it? We probably are. Right, yes. Probably am. I think I maybe want to do some stamping as well. Now we're going to let this dry. But see, there's a page now. You can flip this over. Hopefully. What I will do, probably, to have this a little bit more secure, is put a piece of washi tape here. Yeah? Yes, I'm going to look for a washi tape that I really like with this color and with this design. So, perfect. Um, I'm going to make pockets on here. And I think I want to use the same card on here just make small pockets so i wanted to make some more pockets on here so i took out another one of these cards this is a complete card um so i punched uh, punch another sort of window so now i have two of these to use as sort of tabs or what have you um i have a pocket a slanted pocket i have a tiny tuck spot and then a bigger one 
<clears throat> and I think I want to have the bigger one on the back so that you can put something in. Yeah. And then I want to have this sort of slanted pocket over here. And then the smaller sort of tuck over here. And then another one of these sort of window pocket here. And I'm not going to put a pocket here. I'm just going to, you know, do something pretty. It looks almost like a travel document to me, sort of. Um, I was thinking advertisements, but that's not going to work. So I took out a piece of vintage ledger this is from 1929 so it's going to be a little bit older than the 50s so i want to use a couple of pieces of this to make something lovely and i'm going to dive into my archive of beautiful vintage papers with numbers and such um to get some more papers out and i want to do some stamping because i have lots of stamps that'll work on here but first i am going to um ink all around it yeah and uh decorate some pockets put them in it's gonna be yummy i already know this is going to be a long video but i really want to try and finish it because i have so many ideas i did um ink all around all the pockets and i'm gonna use these as tabs i guess yeah uh i first want to decorate the front i want to do some stamping there's a little bit of sort of red in here in this line so i want to use candied apple and black something black um this one but this was very wet right yeah so this one because i do not want to make any smudges for stamping i am using um eccentric from uh, mr tim holtz and maybe even correspondence this is an older one love it i used to have the fake one uh, but you know, um, the Tim Holtz stamp sets, I prefer the real ones, absolutely do. This piece of paper, and I also have this map, it says uh, quarter size vintage papers. Now these are sort of receipts that I buy from a lady, she, she sells packages of them, but then they are like quarter size, she cuts them up, and I don't know why she does that. Um, on the one hand, I'm really sad about it. But on the other hand, I'm like, okay, well, I can scan them. Can Look, that's so lovely. I wish I would have the whole piece. Well, I don't have the whole piece. So on the one hand, oh, there's some red in here. Um, I'm really sad about it. And on the other hand, I'm like, well, then maybe you should start using them. I just want to use a, a little piece of this. Because there's some red in here. Just gonna decorate with real vintage stuff. Yes, I hardly ever do that, but you know, as you, as you have seen, I have enough of this stuff, so I, I really need to start using it. Put this on here, not all the way to the top. I want to have something on the top. There you go. So I want to put this on here. It's a little bit too long, so I'm gonna. Again, take a bit off. Yeah. Going to have this on here. And then uh, oh, stamp something. Also stamp something. Are we going to ink it? Mm, yes, lightly. Love lightly. Not very grungy. I just want it to stand out. So yeah, this is something French. A receipt probably from the... Most of these are uh, from the 50s. So it is going to be a 50s thing for sure. Yeah, I'm going to have this one on here. Glue page. The lucky one uh, winner today is uh, mermaid scales. Well, it looks like. I don't know. I still have a lot of these ugly pages. But they make for, for fantastic glue pages. There we go. Very nice, very nice. Now, for some stamping. <clears throat> um, I want a number on here, of course. <laughs> are there, <laughs> there are already numbers on here, I know. But here on the top, and then something over here, don't know what. Or do we want something bigger? Like, check number luggage. 
Oh yeah, that could work. And then this over here. Do you want to do it in red? I'm going to do this one in red. Okay, so the candied apple one is also a very juicy one. So I really need to be careful. Not to overdo it. And also really let it dry before I do anything else. So it's going to go. Am I in frame? Hopefully. I'm sorry for the glare of the, of the lights, guys. Oh, I love the color on this green. Yes. Now, let it dry. Let it dry. Let it dry. And this one. I'm just going to take out another block. This one I'm going to do in black. I hope there's still a little bit of juice in here. In this one. Oh, uh, okay. Or not please stick down no this is too dry i do have a re-inker for this i need to get it out somewhere okay we're gonna go with versa vine i love the color on this one absolutely do it's probably gonna be a little bit too black for the black that's on there the problem is it is so juicy what's up with this stamp just gonna wet it a little bit on this side Hopefully it will stay on. Yeah. <laughs> let it dry. Does that work? Probably doesn't. I'm going to let it stick out a little bit of this paper. Oh yeah, it's so black. It's almost too black for this paper, but that's okay. And I want a little bit over here. What we're going to use. Um, also taking out the other stamp set. Which is a new one. Do we have anything? I, I love this one. Can we? Is it too tall to have here? No. That'll work. I'm gonna have it in red. No. I'm gonna do it in black. Yep. Fantastic. And there's going to be a tap on the top of the. Um, of the card now i really need to let this dry because it will take a long time to dry and while we do that let's see what we're going to do with this one i want uh, this pocket this to be on the bottom i'm thinking to have this number here well i just did uh something red as well Airmail, letter, registered, or, you know, something of this set. I, I really do enjoy this set more. Well, the most, let me say. Letter, parcel, number, something, something. How many of these acrylic box, blocks do you have, love? Well, and that's the same size. A lot. Red? Yeah, let's do red. <clears throat> Love it. It looks vintagey old, right? Yeah, it does. Now, let's see. This is a big one that's going to go um, on the back. I'm just going to do the same stamp. Oh, this is the top. This is the top. Because of the red line. Does that fit? It even fits perfectly, love. Do you want another piece of paper on here? It does have a little bit of red left. Yeah, I think so. Add a bit of this on the bottom. It is too big. Still too big. But I really do want the red on here. Okay. I'm going to have this over here. Not too grungy, lovey. Not too grungy. Yeah, and then we're going to stamp something. 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 Dry, dry, please dry. <laughs> it, even though I have a lot of these lovely vintage papers, it's always so scary to use them. 
What if I never find them again? You you won't. These are one of a kind, so you will never find them again for sure. Uh, what we're gonna have on here? Handle with care. Well, we need to do that in red because attention, attention. Handle with care. Okay. Love this. Absolutely love this. Uh, we're going to use this one again in black. Yes. Just because it is really, really nice. It's smudged. I love the color. Do not like how long it takes to dry. So, putting it away to dry. The small pocket. This one. Um, I want to have yet another number on the top. Small one. Ooh, number something something original. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Red? No, black. Yes. And then something along the line here. A longer something, a longer something. Is this too long? That is actually perfect. Red, black, red, black. Guys, red, okay, red. Look, it's like paint. And now it doesn't want to stay, stay on. Stay on here, please. I'm just going to use this piece of paper to sort of push it on. Now I need to ink it again. Oh, so much ink. Don't know about this one, guys. I don't know about this one. Hopefully it'll work. It's stuck. It did. Oh, it's nice, though. Look at that. Love it. Not going to do anything else to it. Well, that's what she says now, but wait until later. Right, so, <clears throat> well, we need another sort of number or something guaranteed to be strictly high grade. Okay. Does it fit? It does. Black? Yeah, let's do black. See, there's red ink now everywhere because it's probably on my fingers and yeah, nah, nah. Still giving it a shot, <laughs> these, these inks, <laughs> because I do love the colors. I'm just gonna ink it once. Love it, love it. Oh, it's on this one. Is it on my sweater now? Hopefully not. Uh, something number there. In red. And there's black on here, so I need to remove that black first. See, so you can stamp it like a gazillion times, and there's still ink on here. Fantastic. Are those all the pockets? I believe so. I believe so. These two are dry. These. Not really dry yet. I uh, even took up my heat gun. Uh, but still, they do not want to dry. Um, so, I'm going to have this pocket here. Again, it's going to have a window in it. Uh, so, I was thinking to have this piece of ticket underneath. And I do want to do some stamping. And I've, I've um, thought of an idea for here. Yeah. I want to do some sort of a notepad or a scrap sample thingy. I marked it, guys, over here. So I think this is going to be the right spot. And if not, uh, we can sort of glue this on wherever we want, right? Sort of. Sort of. Yeah. Gonna have this over here. Art, where are you? Let's see. I rounded the corners on this one. I just, you know, thought, why not? There you go. Uh, it wasn't dry. Oh. 
Makes me a little bit angry, I must say. How long do you have to let it dry? 24 hours to do a stamp and then let it dry? Don't be angry, love. <laughs> yeah, it's too bad. I really thought it was dry, but you know, apparently not. Um, yeah, I want to do some sort of a notepad and then uh, staple it on. Why not? And then this is gonna go over here. Yep. However, I think I want to have a stamp behind here. This is going to be tricky because the stamp won't dry yet. Um, the black dries sooner than the red. Yeah. Is it upside down? No. I just want to have this poke out the from underneath the pockets a little bit. See, like so. And then have this on here. But it needs to dry now. And I'm going to have a number on the top. I will do it in red. I'm just going to do this. Plop. And then really quick. Plop. Looks less juicy. So hopefully that'll work. This is going to go over here. Do we want something here? I guess so. Baggage check room. Black. I'm going to do black. I'm not going to do red anymore. No. That's upside down. Yeah. Okay. Need to let it dry. I really need to let it dry. So I'm going to have one more stamp on the back somewhere. And um, be careful, Luffy. And this one with the airplane, I thought on the bottom here, I'm just going to do it. Hopefully you can see, guys. I'm just going to put it in the corner here. Oh, that looks great. That looks great. So while I'm letting this dry, I am making, uh, don't put it on there, cards to go in there. So what I did, I cut all these sort of pieces to size. This is black cardstock that came from my scrap box. Yeah, I need to use it. Uh, it's nice and sturdy and it has a black background. So if it if you see a little bit of the edge, that is a nice thing. Uh, and I want to use these sort of papers because they all have something red in them. And of course this one. So I'm just going to cover the whole thing, I guess. And then, um, or I have a little bit of an edge. Oh, that'll be nice, right? Just have a little bit of an edge everywhere. I think I'm going to do that. Just decide it. That won't work. Love, well, you need to rip it from the other side. So I want like a smidgen, like uh, not even one eighth of an inch, just a small portion. Mark it. There you go. I could also get my paper trimmer out, of course. But I'm going to try it like so. Yes. And then again, marking it here. Keeping this. Yes, for sure. Yeah. So I'm just going to glue it on there. And I made the tap. See that? Now the card in the front pocket um, is going to be smaller because I really want to show a little bit of the ticket that we glued behind there. Like so. And I want to decorate it. So I had this piece of ticket left. I want to have this on here and then probably or poster stamp. Think so. Think so. Telephone number 50. <laughs> well, I had a telephone number 47 the other day.
There you go. And then, then I want this to be on here, on the top, as a tab. Yeah? Hopefully it's dry. Probably not. I tried everything. I tried stamping it off, well, with a piece of paper on it. I tried my uh, heat gun and, you know, just whipping it around like this, blowing on it. Nothing works. Really nothing works. Fantastic. Let's do another one. This is um, going into this pocket, which is also still not dry. It's been an hour, guys. Uh, it's going to go like so. And I'm going to have this one as a tap to the side. Cute. Will it still fit on the page? Hopefully it will. Uh, just in case, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. No, I'm just going to move the tap a little bit around. Yeah. Uh, what am I going to use? Is this tall enough? Yep, it is. It is. I'm just going to put glue on here. Careful, Luffy. And this is actually um, second generation stamping. I tried everything. What am I doing wrong? You guys are probably going to tell me. Oh, I did not leave a, a black um, edge on this one. Well, you know. That's okay. I think I will round the corners on these. Careful of it because I really want to keep this piece which is underneath. Because I love that it has some sort of a letterhead or brand or what have you. Yeah, just, you know, love that, love that. This needs to go over here, like so. But first, before I do that, I want to round the corners. Do you want to ink it? Yes, I'm going to ink this one. I do not need to ink the other one because it was in black. <laughs> do you want to ink it in black? No, no, just going to do this. I don't think this needs any more decorating um, because it also will have this on here, which looks awesome. Hopefully it will still fit in the pocket. No. Maybe I should have waited before gluing this on. I'm just going to leave a little bit sticking out. Just the tiniest bit. Otherwise, I don't think it will fit in a the pocket. There you go. Then I have these two smaller ones. I want to use uh, this paper for it. And then the big one, I'm going to use this one on. You're going to leave an edge again? I think so. Are you... No, no, yes, yes. <laughs> Make up your mind, woman. I know, I know, I know. I need to have a look. Where did I put the mark? You put it there and you put it there. Yep, it's going to go over here. Like so, like so. You can feel the letters of the of the typewriter on the other side of the paper. It's like embossed on there. It's so nice and old. There you go. I want to do some decorating on here. I guess so. Do you want to have this as a tab? Yeah. Yes, I'm gonna. Using this as a tab. One more of these. Or one of the stickers. Oh yes, 
I'm going to have it on like so. Apparently, this is a hat pin. Yes, it wasn't used as a hat pin. It, what, it is from my previous job. Um, we use this to uh, put beautiful wedding dresses on mannequins and then um, attach them so they wouldn't fall off. Yeah, that's what we use this pin for. Perfect. And now for the smaller ones. I already covered them um, because, you know, that's boring. And I think I want to make tag shapes in here. But first I want to do some decorating. Now this is already really, really lovely. So many lovely things on there. So I'm just going to put a poster stamp on here. Just to put a little uh, more red on here. In this corner. This um, does need a lot of whatever so i'm gonna put a piece of this uh, ticket that we had left and then one of these yeah just some simple decorating with actually scraps because i cut this off a piece of a ticket 625 and then all these other numbers there you go fantastic a uh, tag shape. Snip. Flipping it over to the other side. Snipping it again. Also going to do it with this. It's a smaller one. then over here do we want um a whole reinforcer of course of course we do speaking of which guys the whole reinforcers a lot of questions about these these are from elizabeth craft designs apparently the set that i have um is um, on most of the websites sold out but there are two or three more so be on the lookout for those of course, I need red on here. So there's red here. That'll work. And um, and this one, of course. Yeah. Whole thingy. There's one. And there's the other one. I need art for this. I use a lot of red, don't I? Yeah. Don't know why. It's red or blue. Even though, in sort of real life, <laughs> in my normal day-to-day -day life, I don't do red. No. Nothing in my clothing, not in my home accessories or nail polish or <laughs> lipstick or... No. Even though it actually does look really... This is on Crooked, right? Yes. Well, it's art, so... So, too bad, love. Yeah, some inking. I kept it a little bit torn on the bottom. I just like the effect. Now, if you want to use this in a journal, I would recommend put, um, you know, writing paper on the on the back. Um, I just want to use up the black cardstock because I have so much of this. Let's see. What I also did, I'm going to have um, a sort of a notepad scrap sample thingy here. I took some of the pieces of the, um, of the papers, some scraps, and I'm going to put them there. I have this label, this is from Tracy Fox. And I'm just going to put that on the top. Like so. And I'm going to use my tiny attacher. Well. Not a real one. I have the Heidi Swap one. Which is, you know, it's good. Do I have every piece of paper in here now? Probably do. Yeah. See? It's on there. So you can flip through it. Take pieces out. And whatever you want to do. Let's put this in 
straight away. There you go. Here's one. Now for the taller one, guys, I already checked it. I made it too long. I made it way too long. So I um, cut a piece off, did a stamp on it, and then rounded the corners. And then uh, the black was showing through on the other side. So I put a label on there. It looks great now. I did make it so that you could see a piece of um, the ticket underneath. See? And then it says package check room. And when you flip it over. Oh, that's oh, basically sort of the same um, label there. Oh, that's cute. That is cute. Now, let's see if the other pockets are dry. Hopefully they are. Well, no, I can see this one is not dry yet. See, it's sort of still glistening. But, you know, we're going to put it on anyway. Let's go glue it in. I'm going to put a bead of glue all the way to the edge. As far as... Uh, as close to the edge as possible because I really want the car to go in here. There you go. There you go. Well, we're here. I have another pocket here, right? This one is for the back. Oh, here, this one. Yeah. I'm going to put this one here. Unfortunately, the red glue is a little bit smudgy everywhere, but it is consistent. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's a good thing. <laughs> it is a little bit smudgy everywhere. So, it's supposed to be like that. Didn't you know? Yeah. So, hopefully, this is dry. This is going to go here. Which looks lovely. And then this is going to go here. Also lovely. And then we have this one on the back. With smudging. Yes. I'm going to have this in here. Hopefully this will fit. Don't know for sure. If not, I'm going to trim it. Because I needed to let the pockets dry, I could not really um, measure the sizes of the cards. Which was probably not smart, but hey, I did want to finish a video today. <laughs> not next Thursday. I love these sorts of projects, I really do. Let's see. Will this still fit? It will. It actually does. Fantastic. Are we done? I did um, do some more stamping over here in black. I'm not going to touch the red again. The black does dry sort of reasonably soon. Um, I'm going to put something here. Maybe a strip of something. Do we have a strip of something that we uh, enjoy? Yes, yes, we enjoy this. It came from the from the receipt. Gonna have Dordrecht on here. It's a place in Rotterdam. Uh, in Rotterdam, in the Netherlands, actually a little bit near to where I live. We don't go there often. Yeah, thinking it. Are we over an hour yet? We probably are. We probably are. Well, you know, it's Friday, so you probably don't have anything else to do uh, tomorrow. <laughs> so you have time enough to watch the video. Fantastic. Uh, I'm just going to use art for this because, you know, it's out and why not? Just going to put it on. I need to refill it. I'm going to do this um, this weekend, probably. Lovely piece of paper. Yes! I like it. Let's see the end result. Here it is. Um, I love it. I know I say that every day, but I really, really love it. This is 
so so me let me show you guys i did decorate a little bit more yeah um because you know it needed something and i made a sort of a closure i have these sort of they're not paper clips they're sort of paper clips and these i have a lot of these are from different sort of brands all sorts yeah and this is olivetti system partners partners something with office so it's like um sort of a paper clip that you can put around so yeah closure i did put another label on here a uh, piece of label here and here yeah so we open it up we have a pocket here yes with the ticket underneath um and it's lovely decorated and i put this on the back i'm gonna put them in later and then on this side we have like sort of a scrap sampler with all sorts of lovely yummies and an airmail airplane uh, did i do anything more to this yes another uh, label i put another label on here again attack uh, with a pocket this is a, a vintage ticket cute right what you do with it i don't know what you do with it you just enjoy it <laughs> you just enjoy it it's just cute and then on this side uh, did i do any decorating no this is well we did this as is with a nice lovely card you put it in here and then this one, another card. And then on the back, I did add uh, another label here with a card. And I put this label all the way around. Just a lovely effect. So yeah, that's it guys for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I have no clue how long this video is. Probably a very, very long one. But that's okay. Go back in here, lovies. Yes, there we go. Scooching it in a little bit. Yep. Lovely. And then closing it up. So yeah, I could send this in happy mail to someone. And then put some other lovely stuff in pockets. Or, you know. It's just cute, guys. That's it for today. It's Friday. Which means the weekend is here. I hope you all will have a wonderful weekend. Uh, you're probably all very, very busy with uh, holiday uh, preparations and such. I will be. I will, however, be back again this Monday with another video. I hope to see you then, guys. Bye.